I'm Colin Palmer. I'm chair of White Community Energy, an organisation which was set up about three years ago uh, to promote community ownership of energy on the Isle of Wight. And we actually own a four megawatt solar ground mount plant, which is just a few miles away down the road here. I'm, I'm looking forward to the event. I, I think it's going to be a very important event for the island. It's in uh, an iconic building in the Seacam building, which is a very much to me a symbol of where the island is going, not where it's been. Well, it's an opportunity to find out just what's going on this is in this incredibly fast changing world. Um, it's really hard when you've got your nose down to, you know, I've run small businesses, bigger businesses, I know what it's like. Day-to-day -day stuff gets in the way, but you do need to stand back occasionally and just see what's happening in the bigger picture. I mean, the world is littered with companies that didn't read the mobile phone revolution correctly. They no longer exist. Uh, on the Isle of Wight, we already have uh, the largest wind turbine company in the world represented, Vestas. They, they are the largest wind turbine in the con company in the world. They turn over billions a year. Now, obviously, they don't turn over all that on the Isle of Wight, but their plant on the river near, near Newport is one of their major R&D centres. They also build there the blades for the largest commercial wind turbines in the world. We tend to forget that. So they are employing people, but there's huge supply chain opportunities as well, and they're growing. They're in a rapidly growing industry, unlike many others. Um, so there's opportunities there to tap into those sort of companies in that supply chain. And also there's the potential to move the Isle of Wight to totally electrical, um, self-sufficiently on renewables. And this isn't just about nailing solar panels into the ground. It's much more than that now. We're moving to a smart grid where we need sophisticated control systems, Internet of Things, the sort of things that Andy Stanford Clark will be talking about at this meeting. That's coding, that's things that people on the island can do where the, the, ba the so-called barrier to the, across the Solent doesn't matter. We're getting Gigabit Island, we have very fast internet connection. It's ideal for internet companies to get involved in the smart grid revolution. And electric vehicles, they're all part of this. Tying electric vehicles into a network so that they can trade electricity. All this is happening. We could be part of it, or maybe some companies are part of it on the island.